All right, so today I'm gonna to show you guys how to create a scatter plot on Excel 2016 for Mac. So as you know, for a scatter plot, what you need is an X and Y variable to form an ordered pair. Each ordered pair makes up a point on the graph, and then by connecting all the points with a line, you make yourself a graph. So first, to start off, we have our X variable and we have our y variable. These are what are going to form the points on the graph. So I'm just going to enter in some example data. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. And for the y variable, we'll do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. These are all data that I just made up, so you insert whatever you have. So in column A, we have our x variable, and in column B, we have our y variable. Um, by combining these variables together we have our ordered pairs. So the first point on the graph will be 0, 1. The second will be 1, 2. The third will be 2, 3 and so on down the line. Now in order to graph the scatter plot what we first need to do is click and drag to select all the data and then we go up here to the insert tab and we click insert and we go over to the recommended chart area. Now there's a couple different options for graphs and you select whichever one you think will work best or Microsoft can recommend some options to you. But we're focusing on the XY scatter plot which is right there. So you go ahead and click that and then we're given the option of how we want our graph to look. So we can have it with lines on it, whether those are straight or smooth or no lines or whether we want the points to be marked or not. Um, I'm just going to pick this one just for um, ease of understanding what's going on with the graph. So by clicking this, we have our graph. Um, this is just one line. Um, if you run your mouse, if you hover over any of these points, it will show you the ordered pair that's associated with each one of the points and what line it's particularly associated with. So in order to change the title of the graph, you can click and then double click to select everything and then you can type whatever you want your title to be. In this case, we'll just call it graph. In terms of adding other labels or information to the graph, you would go up into the upper left, and by add a chart element, you would click that. If you want to label the axes, what you do is you click axis titles, and you pick whether you want it on the horizontal axis or the vertical axis. In this case, we'll label both. So we can call the horizontal axis time, and then we go up here again, and then we can click vertical axis, and by double clicking here, you can select it all and then type distance. Um, you can label these uh, axes, whatever you want. Um, I'm just coming up with an example here. Also in the add chart elements area or menu, you can add a bunch of other things to the graph. So you can pick where you want the title to be, you can label your points more specifically, you can include error bars, uh, you can change the appearance of grid lines, whether you want um, more lines on your graph, such as that. You can also um, modify your legend, which we'll get into more of that later with more than one line. You can choose where you want it to be, and then you can also add a trend line. Now what we're going to do is I'll show you an example of how to create a scatter plot with more than one line. So we'll just Command C, we'll copy this data and we'll go to a different sheet and we'll paste it Command V and then we'll get rid of our labels up here for X and Y variable and for Y variable instead we'll call it line 1 and then we'll also start in column C and call it line 2 and we'll enter in some y variable data for column C. So for example, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So now what we've done is we have two lines, lines one and two, and each one of these y variable numbers corresponds back to the x variable. So for example, for line one, we have the ordered pair zero, one, one, two, two, three, and three, four. For line 2, we have 0, 2, 1, 3, 
2, 4, and so on. So now what we do is we select all the data by clicking and dragging again, and we go up to Insert, and we go over by Recommended Charts again, and we insert our scatter plot. So now as you can see, Excel creates the graph, and we have two lines, and there's a legend down at the bottom, and it's labeling line one and line two in different colors. Uh, this wouldn't appear unless we labeled these columns B and C as line one and two respectively. If it was just blank, it would have assumed that these were still Y variables, but it would have, have included the legend because there was no label. So it's always a good idea to label. Um, and once again, we can go up here to add chart element, and we can add our axes titles, we can change our chart title, and all the stuff that I explained before. Um, so that was a quick overview on how to create a scatter plot on Excel 2016 for Mac. I hope I've helped you guys figure this out, and if you have any questions, make sure to let me know, and thank you for watching.